Princess Beatrice and Eugenie ceased enforcing the double standards of Sussex rule. Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice are great ambassadors, but a journalist claims that Prince Harry and Meghan are unable to step up because they cannot strike a half-in, half-out agreement. The half-in, half-out policy of the Sussexes would prevent Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice from taking on official royal duties, according to a royal expert. According to royal writer Natasha Livingstone, the debate over whether or not members of the York sisters can work part-time jobs might resurface if they were to become more prominent in royal life. Writing for the Mail on Sunday, Ms. Livingstone was discussing which royals should shoulder additional responsibilities to uphold the monarchy as Prince William and Kate deal with their cancer diagnosis. She stated on the Palace Confidential podcast, Both sisters are already very busy. In addition to becoming mothers, they both devote a lot of time to their charities and organizations. I don't see how that would happen without causing further issues later on, especially with Prince Harry, as the half-in, half-out royals debate often comes up as they get more involved in royal life. In the past, Prince Harry has stated that he had discussed his and Meghan's future roles with the firm and had requested a half-in, half-out arrangement once it was announced they would no longer be working royals. He aspired for Meghan Markle and himself to be free to pursue careers of their own while continuing to support Queen Elizabeth Eo. In his Netflix documentary series, the Duke of Sussex stated that it was evident very quickly that the topic was off-limits to discussion. Rather, Buckingham Palace declared that Harry and Meghan will forfeit their Royal Highness titles and cease to be active members of the royal family. Following their breakup, the Sussexes have explored other profitable endeavors, like as partnerships with Netflix, Spotify, and a book deal that resulted in the release of Harry's critically acclaimed memoir, Spare. According to some royal observers, Harry may now wish to work as a part-time royal again, in order to support his family in a half-in, half-out arrangement. The same podcast featured Daily Mail diarist Richard Eden, stating that there is a big difference between Beatrice and Eugenie and the Sussexes. I think there's a big difference with them because they're not trying to make a fortune, he added, replying to Ms. Livingstone. Yes, they work, but unlike Harry and Meghan, they don't really have big aspirations to become extremely wealthy. That was going to be even more uncomfortable. Managing a few additional appointments while operating out of an art museum doesn't seem like a big deal to me. In addition to her role as Vice President of Partnerships and Strategy at Affinity, a tech company, Princess Beatrice is a patron of several organizations and charitable causes. Eugenie is employed by nonprofit organizations such as Anti-Slavery International and Children in Crisis. She also started working at Hauser and Worth, an art gallery. Mr. Eden said that Beatrice and Eugenie were great ambassadors for the royal family, but he also said that they could have done more and that Elizabeth Yu, their grandmother, had taught them a lot. They are always sensible and diplomatic, he remarked. They have never erred in any way. If they could play a larger part, that would be fantastic. Miss Livingstone pointed out that, should the siblings come forward, there would be an additional problem regarding the arrangements for their security. What would they do, for example, about their security? She said in closing, they do not, in my opinion, have state-funded security. Would that change if they were going out more as a working royal? Would anyone want to foot the bill for that? It brings up a number of issues that I doubt the palace wants to address.